Welcome to my channel. This video explains about the implementation of a standard ternary inverter using carbon nanotube field effect transistor in cadence virtuoso. Standard ternary inverter is implemented with P type and N type carbon nanotransistors. For observing the properties of a CN FET, select any transistor and press Q. This is a P type transistor, press Q. CDF parameter view, change it to Verilog to see the properties of a P type transistor. It has a length of 32 nanometer followed by chiral vector of 19 comma 0. In the similar manner, you can check the object properties of all the transistors. Here, the chiral vector of this second transistor is 10 comma 0 and the length is 32 nanometer. For all of these transistors, check the chiral vectors. This is 13 comma 0. Similarly, for n type CN fit. The parameter remains the same except the chiral vectors. Here it is 13, 0. Nineteen comma zero. And the final transistor of ten comma zero. Remaining the parameters are same. Length is 32 nanometer and effective is 200 nanometers. Once the design is completed, check and save the design and create a symbol, then create the test bench to see the circuit diagram. Press Shift E to descend into the hierarchy. Same circuit diagram that is being used. To come out of it, press Ctrl E. Again, check and save the design. Now, this inverter is provided with a DC supply of 900 millivolts and connected to the ground. Here I am using two sources. One is already disabled by using shift delete. Again I can disable this shift delete and the input is a PWL selected from the analog library. Select PWI. PW L piecewise linear. The number of pair of points I have used is 7. For time 1, 0 volt and 0 time. Again, for 1 nanosecond, it is 0. For time 3, the incremental value is 1 nano plus 0 0.01 nanosecond. So like that I have done for ternary inputs. And th this is also the same. Change the object properties. You can see that I have provided the file path here. 
Before that, you need to set the voltage to 0 0.9 and select the source to PWL and provide the path where the file resides. See the PWL file where the test input is written in the form of a text for 0 volt, 0 time, 0 voltage. For 1 nanosecond, 0 voltage. Increment then reach to mid value of 0 0.45, half the value of 0 0.9. Again, 2 nanosecond increment 0 0.45. So I have set the ternary input by using this particular file. Check and save the design. I have disabled this one. Now go to launch, click on ADL. Right click or select the analysis. I want to perform a transient analysis of 3 nanoseconds. Click on moderate, then apply. Similarly, I want to perform the DC analysis. Save DC operating point. Click on component parameter. Select the component. This is the source. Select the DC voltage, start from 0 to 0 0.9 sweep with the linear sweep type incremental steps of 0 0.01. Press OK. Two analysis are loaded, then right click to select the input and output. Input, Output, similarly I want to plot the current that is entering into the circuit along with the VDD. So I have selected the 4, click on OK. Once all these are done, just click on Netlist and run. This shows the DC characteristics Let me delete this net You can see this This represents a ternary input or output with a value of 0 here then 1 and 2. This is the current response and with respect to input. And this is the transient analysis response. And this represents the DC voltage. See that this is 0 volt and this is 4, 0.45 volt and the third value is 900 millivolt. For this, since it is an inverter, its response is inversion. 900 millivolt then 0 0.45 finally 0. So we are having the inversion. 
this is the typical response of a standard ternary inverter to find the delay and power right click on this particular instantaneous current in nano amps right click send to calculator multiply it by supply voltage of 0 0.9 close within the brackets and in the functions use average then click on evaluate buffer it is having a value of 212 nano watts you can send it to the ad window by clicking on this observe that we have the expression here you can change and name it as average power Click apply, it changes. Again, you can estimate the delay. Use the function panel for delay. Select the first signal. Click on transient voltage. Select the input. Copy this, place it in the signal 1. Similarly, for signal 2, again select the transient voltage. This time select the output. Signal 1 is V in, signal 2 is V out. Since the mid voltage is 0 0.45, which is half of 0 0.9, the threshold voltages are kept at 0 0.45 and input is in a rising mode. Input is in a rising mode. So I want to estimate delay at this particular point. And this is in a falling mode or you can change it to either click ok the calculator is loaded with the expression you can directly click on evaluate the buffer so it is 7.82 picoseconds delay is 7.82 picoseconds you can directly send it to the ADE buffer then close this. Just right click and edit. Give the name as delay. Click on OK. Now AD is having the power, input, output, and delay. You can save all of this if you want. Again, once these are done, you can click on netlist and run. This time, we have the average power is 212 nanowatts and delay is of 7.82 pico. So, in this way, you can characterize a standard ternary inverter with three input logics. Let me change this now. Shift delete.
check and save the design rerun the simulation this simulating only for 3 nanosecond but i want to simulate it for more this time the component is v3 and transient analysis of 10 nan apply ok so once these are done just click on netlist and run The DC characteristic response is similar, but you can observe the V in and V out. So, this is the typical ternary inverter characteristics transient response.